Hey guys, so I'm sure you're aware of the current COVID-19 situation and if you want to stay up to date with the total number of cases in your area without constantly checking the news, I'm going to show you how you can make your own real-time case tracker with an ESP32 that connects to the internet, it pulls the data and then outputs it to either a serial monitor or a display. And you should be able to take the information from this video to make your own custom tracker for other topics like weather, stocks, currency rates, and uh, pretty much anything else you want to track. Now the hardest part about making a tracker like this is finding the server that is storing the data you need. So for this application the most popular tracker I've seen is the John Hopkins University map. It basically shows global data and you can click around and get the different information. But I found at the bottom here um, where it actually shows, it'll, there's a link here and this takes you to the three servers that that map pulls the data from. And for this case, I'm going to use the cases server because it actually provides more detailed information of the actual states and provinces. And this page is just showing you what all the data fields are going to look like and what to expect. So we're going to do a query here. And at the top, where, it's basically asking you which entries do you want to look at. So if you set object ID greater than zero, it's going to show you all of the entries. And for the out fields here, this is basically asking what fields do you care about, like confirmed or uh, deaths or the states. But for if you just put an asterisk here, it'll display everything. And I'll just show you so you can see what the, the raw data looks like. Return geometry, you want to change this to false. Down here at format, you want to change this to JSON, and then you want to hit query get. And this is going to take you to the raw data. So at the, at the beginning here, all this information is just the field definitions. And, and you go below that, you'll start seeing, you know, object ID 1 is Alberta, Canada. And then it shows you the last update, the latitude, longitude, confirmed, recovered, all the field information. So here's where you can search what region or state you want to get the information for. So for me, I live in Florida, so I'm going to search for Florida, and I'm going to pay attention to the object ID. And so mine is 298. I'm going to go back. I'm up here where it says object IDs, I'm going to put 298 in, and then I'm going to do the query get again. And so it's again, we have just the field information up here, but after the field information, all we have is Florida. So now I want to narrow it down because I don't want all this information. So I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to put only the field info that I want. So here, instead of an asterisk, I'm going to put province, state, confirmed, and deaths separated by a comma. And you're going to do it again. And you're going to see um, you just have your only the field definitions that you're using and then only the region um, that you're wanting to track. If you want to do more than one region at a time, you can just up here, you can separate the object IDs with a comma and then you'll see you'll get different regions. So here we just have Florida and New York. So we go back. For me, I just want Florida. Okay. And here's basically what I'm going to be pulling from with the ESP32. Now this link up here is a custom link for your specific search criteria. So you're going to take this link that has your information, you're going to put it into the program that I'll have links to below. And this program is just a simple one that's going to display the raw data on the serial monitor. So you're just going to put in your Wi-Fi SSID, your, your password, it's going to check, make sure you got a connection. If you have a connection, it's going to go to this link. This is where you're going to paste your custom link in. It's going to, you know, ask for uh, a code. We're going to make sure we get, um, you know, 200 is what we're looking for. There's a bunch of codes. You can look up what the different codes mean, but 200 is what we want to see. And then we want to pull the string. So what that's going to do is it's literally going to pull all of this information. And it's going to print it to the serial monitor. So if you go to your serial monitor with your ESP32 plugged in and you're going to see this is what it looks like. 
So we got our 200, which is our, our code that we asked for, and then the string, which is all the rest of this. So now what we want to do here is we want to take this information and store it as a variable. And there are many ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you an easy way. And you don't have to be a JSON wizard to figure it out. So we're going to close this. We're going to go back. We're going to go to here. And then we're going to take this. We're going to copy all of this. And we're going to go to the Arduino JSON Assistant. And this is a really cool web app that basically takes all our data and parses it out for us and actually initializes variables and it even assigns the proper variable type to our data so then we can do whatever we want with that data. But there's a couple examples here, weather underground, open weather map, displaying different weather conditions and so we're just going to take that entire string and paste it in here and you'll see below it is automatically generated our parsing program and even if you're already pretty good at this this is I think still gonna be a lot faster than trying to type all this out by hand so you're gonna copy this now this is what we're gonna input into our program and down here at the very bottom we have our three variables so features underscore zero attributes province you know you can change these variable names but these are our three variables so we got our province state our confirmed and our deaths stored as these variables we're going to copy this we're going to put it in our code and this is one of the other programs i'm going to have on my github and it's pretty much like the last one other than i've added the parsing program in here and so it parses it out and then it's just going to print the actual variables and the data stored in them so there's one a couple things I had to change here so all I really had to add from this code here so I pasted it in and right before um, this segment of code here I created where is it I created a variable called payload string payload and that's going to get the string which is what we printed before and what I got to do is actually convert that string to a char array so um, before it actually goes through the parsing program so those are the only things you really need to pay attention to are these two lines and again we have our same link up here and you're going to see what it looks like on the serial monitor so before we had all that data and now we only have the data we want so we can now we can take that data and do whatever we want with it okay so here's the program for the OLED display and it's not really much different than the serial monitor one except for you know it just added the library for the OLED display and you know if you have an LCD or any other type of display you can easily modify this program the REST API parsed serial code in the GitHub. I'm gonna put all three of these in the GitHub and you can use whichever one you want. I'm also including a link for this is a list of 3500 over 3500 uh, GIS servers in the US and it has all different kinds of information fish and wildlife national park service actual individual state servers and I'm gonna include a link to this list of servers I found for Florida and you can pretty much adapt this to anything you want so hope you guys found this video helpful and hopefully everyone is doing their best to stay safe so I'll see you later bye